and welcome to this new video tutorial of AutoCAD 2019. So in the previous video we went through solid modeling into more detail. Um, this time I will be going through the solid editing tool. So if we have a look at what we did in the previous session. The problem with AutoCAD is that it's not a parametric software, meaning that Normally, in a parametric software, you can control your features with parameters. So, there will be somewhere where you can specify um, the diameter of um, these holes and modify them 3D, modify the thickness, uh, any dimension that you've given. But unfortunately, in AutoCAD, you cannot do that with your solids. However, there is a, there is a way. Because otherwise you would have to remodel everything again in order to fix it. So this is what we call the solid edit tool. So you will find it here under solid editing. So you can create. Um, you will find it under um, under here. Um, so just type in solid edit, and now you can choose between all of these options. So you can move edges, you can um, play with the bodies, faces, so I'm going to select face. So for instance, let's say that I wanted to get rid of one of these holes. I can always go on delete, select the face that you want to delete and press enter. And that will delete it. So I'm going to use control set. Let's say that we want it to uh, for instance, change the size of it. So I'm going to go on offset, select the face, press enter, specify the offset distance, let's say 10 mil. Uh, because the diameter was 10 mil, it deleted it. But let's say if I choose, if I go back, select offset, select it, press enter, and now type in 5, press enter. Use offset again, press enter, select 2 mil, see what happens. Yep, so they just offset the object by 2 mil. If I wanted that to happen in the opposite direction, type in minus 2 and it will make it bigger by 2 mil. So what else can we do with it? We can, for example, elongate this by selecting the extrude option. So press enter. Uh, let's say specify the extrusion height. Say uh, twenty mil. Taper angle, no taper. Press enter. And hit exit. So as you can see, we elongated it. So I'll go back to the tool, solid edit, go on face again. We can also use move. So for example, we can um, move the positioning of this hole, specify a base point. So I'll just select anywhere, move it in that direction and type in maybe uh, 10 mil, press enter. Uh, that allows us to move those faces by 10 mil or whatever distance we wish. So if we go back on face, so we've seen how we can extrude, move, we can also rotate, so if, if we want to rotate this hole around an axis and move it slightly, we could do, um, we could also taper an extrusion, we can also delete as we've seen, we can also copy. The, the offset, change the color, the material, um, so on. We can also check the edge option, copy edges, check the body option. You can um, separate solids or shell them, clean them. So Other things you can do with solids, you can also 
use a tool chamfer edge for instance select the edge that you want to chamfer uh, press D and enter for distance so let's say 1 mil press enter 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 now you can preview it press enter so you can see we chamfer the edge by 1 mil you can also use the option fillet edge Select the edge, type in R for radius, press enter, select your radius, let's say 2 mil, press enter, enter. Um, as you can see it worked, and um, if you regret doing that, you can always go back to the solid edit tool, select face, uh, delete, and select the faces that you wish to delete. that face and this face so you can see our, our solid goes back to uh, the way it was at the beginning so this is how you modify solids in AutoCAD um, a little recap we've gone through um, extrude, revolve we've seen sweep with surfaces you will see it in the next few videos you can also create um, solids um, straight away. You can create boxes, cylinders. Uh, you can smooth objects. That's something that you would only do in um, with complex shapes. We've seen um, solid units subtract, resect. Here's your um, extract edges tool, so you can use that to. Um, to extract the wireframe of an object, so I've just done it. If I delete it, you will see that we've now got the wireframe of it. So it's helpful sometimes when if you want to add a complex feature that you need to mod to draw using a wireframe, you can do it that way. Um, this is all the options that you've got in your. Uh, Solid edit tool. This is the one that you've got for. Um, this is um, the option for edges. This is the option for faces. Uh, this is the option for bodies. So if you have um, joined two bodies um, that are separated and you want to split them, you can use that command. Uh, this way, with clean, you can remove and redundant edges or you can shell the solid uh, depending on what you do you will be using those tools um, so this will be it for this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one